Gems, it's your girl Stylist Raven, and I'm gonna take y'all in my shoe closet really quickly because today's gumbo is all about fashion, and I decided I wanted to do some of my shoes. So come on, let's go. Excuse all the noise. So today I think what I'm gonna do is like my Jennifer Lee collection. I wanted to do all of this like at one big time. Um, however, all of my shoes that I've ordered are not here. Um, I do have an insert of like a pair that I sent back um, that I will make sure to put in this video if I don't forget. However, I think I'm only gonna take down four today. I don't know. And I got a little surprise for y'all in this video as well. So if you're a big Jennifer Lee fan and you love her shoes, this is the video for you. All right, and don't think I'm crazy, y'all. I just like to keep my stuff like in original packing. So I usually keep like tissue paper that comes out of the boxes or like styrofoam if that's what comes in the boxes. And I stick them in between my boxes so that my boxes don't peel. Not all of my shoes are like that. because Some of them I do have along the sides. So anyways, um, let's go. All right, guys. So like I told you guys, this is part of my Jennifer Lee collection I've moved it out here so y'all can kind of see it um the only thing I would say that I wish she would do on the collection is I wish that she would add labels um most designer boxes do have labels unfortunately she does not and I think part of that is because of how beautifully packaged her um packages are um as you can see so um this one is in snake skin this one i don't know the material again this one is like the uh embossed skate snake skin so all of her packages that's the only thing so i personally put my own labels here so that when they're all on the shelf i can identify which shoe is in which box so starting with this one and i'll show you guys all of the packaging everything um I like to leave my things as is. They have a magnetic clips, claps, so I like that as well because the box just self adheres. Her logo on her tissue paper, which is just her name, Jennifer Lee, and you get a dust bag per shoe. Um, and on top of that, I don't wanna mess up my fresh flowers. Um, every box comes with uh, an envelope. Some of my envelopes are self-addressed some of them are not, but inside the envelope is a pretty much like a thank you card. If I can get it out, I don't know what's going on. This one, there you go. All right, and then it'll usually just say Jennifer Lee, and on the inside, she thanks you. She says, thank you for adding one of my designs to your personal wardrobe. I truly appreciate your support. I hope you love your Hashtag I am Jennifer Lee piece as much as I enjoy designing it. Love Jennifer Lee. So that is what comes in there. Um, some of my boxes actually came with um, crystal hair pins, which I thought were really cute, but that doesn't come in all of them. So um, most of my stuff I kind of leave as is, and I will show you guys each of the shoes with me walking in the shoes, how they fit, how they wear. Um, I actually am an eight and a half and her shoe sizes, I think they run like eight to eight and a half. And then the next group is nine to nine and a half. Then it's like 10, 11, so on. So for me at eight and a half, I get a size 39. Some of her shoes, I had to get 40s um, just because they were like so true to fit. So this one here, and I'm sorry y'all, I don't have all the detail in front of me, but I will try to remember each shoe. Almost all of her shoes are lined in lambskin leather. And this one is rabbit fur. So this is the purr. Um, and it's the black one. She also has this shoe in a gorgeous red dyed. Um, I think it's Rex, Rex fur rabbit. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Forgive me if I'm not saying it correct or not. But I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I think this is about a four inch heel three and a half or four inch heel looks like and they are super comfy so yeah this one is definitely one you should um invest in 
I will insert like prices and everything in the description somewhere on here because like I said, I don't have it in front of me. Um, her dusters, they're not lined like in silk or anything, um, but they are like a, I don't wanna say velvet, but they're, they're something similar to that. And they have the two tassels on the side. Pull them, shoe them on. So I really like those a lot. Um, when I saw those on there, I mean, you can pair them up with almost anything. I thought they were definitely a good part to add. They were not my first purchase with her. Um, however, they were ones that I was looking at. Actually, the shoe that originally, Stop Harper, drew me to her, um, Stop, drew me to her collection um, was the razor. And I saw that one. I think it was like Makeup Shayla. She had gifted Makeup Shayla with that shoe, I think for her birthday or just for some type of occasion, like a few years ago. Um, and that's what drew me to her thing. But let me put a pause there to say, um, when I made my initial order, right, the customer service was like on point, all the way down from the emails to Jennifer herself uh, messaging me on IG in two questions that I had feedback like right then and there to say she's in Canada um, her team and her they really do superb I had screenshot like a lot of that but I feel special so I don't want y'all knowing all my business up in the emails and the DMs however I will say like do not be um, afraid to purchase with her if you have something that you know you feel like you would like a different fit or even if it's something down to like um, it came in the shoe may have like a defect to it because I had a shoe that actually had a defect in one of her new shoes and she sent me out not even a replacement but an extra set on top of that so I mean customer service is a one and for me that was what really sold me with shopping with her company so anyways back to the video so again the traditional I am Jennifer Lee or Jennifer Lee paper and on this one she personalized my envelope um, it says both so, and I think that was after a few purchases, but I don't know. Okay, so here are the, this is a bag where I ordered the Money Motive shoe in nude, and I actually got the crystal, I might have to get closer. I got some of these in with my purchase, right? They are hair pins, if y'all can see them, bobby pins, and this one says funds, this one says HBIC, hey, it's in charge, y'all know how that goes um and they're really really cute they're not like the ones they're actually heavier they're not like the ones you get from um beauty supply stores and stuff like that so and they come in their own little duster which is how cute is that all right so like i said this is the money motive i was so torn between getting this one in gold it's uh still the clear pvc getting it in gold or getting it in nude and I settled on getting it in nude and I got a 40 because um, prior to me ordering this I had ordered one of her PVC boots and of course y'all know PVC fits um, it runs small so you have to get it bigger this one has like the very um, I call them like razor heels or uh, pencil heels but it has like a metal um, money sign but it's like a pencil it's you know the width um, so this one is definitely one I will say um, it is very comfortable on my foot um, with support and everything but walking in it girl I almost thought I couldn't walk in heels <laughs> with this at first um, because it takes some getting used to with the the heel I wouldn't even lie to you but one really good thing that I really loved about this PVC because I've ordered designer PVCs before hers was very very good quality because you know usually after some wears your PVC will break down on you but I did like that she put little holes and you guys probably can't see but it's two holes here um, on the PVC and it allows for your foot to breathe if your feet naturally sweat or if you're like me and you put lotion or Vaseline on your feet um, and then you put on your, your shoes and you know then your foot slides this allows air to circulate in with the shoes so I thought that was very thoughtful um, and everything again still line, lined in lambskin PVC metal heel but this is a bad ass shoe you can wear it with everything 
from dressed up to dressed down. Um, it's, it's just one of those type shoes for me, okay? Personally, I love almost everything in our collection. There's only maybe like one or two things that are just, um, don't draw my attention. And it's just because I'm not uh, really big on those particular, I guess, patterns of shoe. It's not even the style because I like the style of the shoe. But I literally, I guarantee you guys, you go in there, you would like it. So I got that one in a 40 instead of a 39. Um, the per I got in a 40 because when I originally ordered, oh, the one I originally ordered with the feather, it was like the, um, the crocodile embossed and it had the ostrich feathers and I ordered it in a 39 and even though the shoe fit, it was just, it was narrow. So because of that, I needed a 40. When I sent it back, they didn't have my size, but that's okay. Um, so when I ordered this one, I didn't want that to happen. So I just got it in a 40 and actually it it feels a little loose in the back like once i buckle it but girl i'm not even taking the chance of sending it back for 39 and then don't have my size okay all right so blue is my favorite color happy birthday to me because my birthday was just it just passed september 14th i'm supposed to be either drinking whiskey or some of my ace of spades or something here with y'all but i just didn't feel like drinking um you know i take care of my mom so I didn't want to do all of that, um, especially since I'm feeling this later than I originally thought. So this is a shoe. Let me tell y'all, this one, she flirted with me, like hard down flirted with me the entire time because I saw her and was like, dad, that's a bad shoe. Beyonce wore this, this same shoe with a red dress. Um, and I was just like, uh, I don't know. I might wait. I might wait. And it's so crazy because when I talked to Jennifer, she was telling me that she was actually going to relaunch the shoe um with a uh i don't know if it was a better crystal or just whatever but she was launching a new shoe and she did she just posted up yesterday that she's going to be i think it's the release is for in october so you guys are not too late um she's doing it in nude uh, different shades of nude caramel and then of course um in the clear so here goes my card hugs and kisses thank you this one also came with another um hair clamp so I have tons of these now it is the HBIC one baby she it's like she reads my mind she knows that's what I am you know <laughs> no just playing y'all so anyways so this beauty here when I say I put them on and they are so comfortable and I got them in a 40 and as you guys can see these actually they just came like about a week ago um if y'all know anything about me, I love shoes. I've been getting designer shoes now since 2012, 2011 or 2012 because my first pair was like a pair of Louis. Louis um, but yeah, so anyways, um, this is the Glacier Heel. Is this not gorgeous? Lambskin lined. Um, and one thing I'm forgetting to say, on the bottom of all her shoes, she does have... Um, I am Jennifer Lee, her logo, um, that they're handmade because she does hand make um, all of her shoes. They are handmade, so no two shoes are the same. And she puts the size, which is a size 40 here, so that would be a size 9. So these I ordered in a 9. Um, but I absolutely, absolutely love this one. And for some reason, this PVC... Um, it felt a little bit more stretchy, rub like rubbery um, to me than my other one. So I'm not sure if it's because they both I haven't worn them like out just yet. Those two particular shoes I have worn them like around the house, looking cute, you know, like some lingerie, a little robe, a little something, shoulder out. You know how you do. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I thought that these were just super comfortable, but they are absolutely beautiful. Um, and like I said, who wouldn't want the same shoe Beyonce had or any celebrity for that, that matter? You know, I'm not really like a vain person, but baby, I still love my shoes. And, and a good shoe is like, well, let me look. Y'all know, y'all read in between the lines, okay? Read in between the lines. This one, I was actually surprised. I think this was like the only box 
where I only received one duster. So that's the reason I'm kind of like leaving them in the plastic. Because usually in all of her boxes, I had two dusters. So I, I thought for a second, like maybe I misplaced it or whatever. But nope, this one only came with one um, duster. Which is perfectly fine for me because they still fit into the shoe. I mean, they still fit into the box. So that works for me. Um, yeah, so that is the Glacier Heels. And those are in a size 40. And like I told y'all, um, I put my own labels on them all right and so i'm gonna do two more shoes on this video and then i will basically um do a do continued videos on my um on the third monday of each month because that's my fashion mondays that's why today's gumbo is fashion so on those days y'all can tune in and see more of the shoes i got from this collection or see um, purses or clothing or whatever so I thought this box was super cute it was like the pink and gold um, you know I, I really do I'm, I'm a big fan of packaging and stuff like that and I know that I could put them in the dusters and put them in the closet but that's just not typically how I do so with that being said of course this is another one where she personalized it and it said bow this is the Zaza so the very first order that I ordered was my Zaza, was the um, ostrich and crocodile. Now she does have the ostrich and crystal up there and I do like the shoe, but I have so many formal shoes already that I really didn't um, want that one to be as dressy. Um, so I'm really like stalking, looking for that one to come back in a 40 because once it does, once the email drops, or it hits the members um, only or whatever, she's gonna get it, all right? So here we go. This is the Zaza and the Zaza, look, wait, let me make sure because she has two. Yeah, this is the Zaza heel and then she has like the Zaza flat. Um, I think these are adorable. These are mink, 100% um, mink. I can't remember if these are what type of crystals, but they are crystals, real crystals. And um, of course the lambskin lining, the gold, it's like a block pencil heel. Some kind of way, I, um, I've been wearing them. So I, y'all wouldn't be able to see it. I'm gonna get in kind of close. So maybe just be careful because I just noticed this on my own. Um, I've worn these like twice. And as you can see, maybe just from crossing my ankles or my legs, um, I've kind of worn off some of the gold there. Um, so that's just one thing to be careful about. Um, but however, this is the construction of the shoe. Girl, stop. All right, so this is this one. It is the Zaza heel. And I absolutely love this shoe, y'all. I abs like this is my shoe, baby, when I be around the house. When you know I'm cooking a little meal, um, when I'm going out in public, and I just want to look cute. You can wear these with camouflage. You can wear these with jeans. You can wear these with skirts. You can wear these with dresses. You can wear this bad boy with everything. So I definitely would suggest if you like it in the mink, whatever, um, go cop it, go grab it. It's the shoe to get. It was like, oh my god, when I saw that shoe. That one, and believe it or not, like I told y'all earlier, the razor is what brought me to her site. And I used to be like, oh my God, I'm gonna get the razor, I'm gonna get the razor, I'm gonna get the razor. And I was always skeptic because I had never actually purchased from her. Um, and now that I've purchased from her, that is the only shoe that I have yet to purchase. And I don't even know why, because it's so beautiful. So, 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 so beautiful. Um, I do have several pair of boots that I did purchase from her as well. And this was my first, excuse me y'all, my, no, my allergies are acting up so my nose is itching. Um, these are my first pair of boots that I got for her. It came in like this 24K, um, I said snakeskin early. I think this is crocodile embossed. This is all crocodile embossed. I'm sorry y'all. Croc embossed um, packaging. And this is the Hound Stooth Thigh High. Um, pink and gold boot and I got it in a 39 for some reason all of her boots 
I can get in a 39 and I'm perfectly fine. The only issue I've had with her boots are, um, I purchased a slightly wider because I have very muscular calves. Um, and so on some of her boots, the slightly wider runs, um, I think, 15 to 17 inches and some of them runs 14 to 16 inches and I'm right at like 17 and a half in the calf so they get a little tight right I got lotion up and lube up to um, like zip them up or whatever but however I want to show y'all this gorgeous gorgeous oh baby Look, when I put this on, and I know I'm not like, I didn't get dressed up for this video um, or anything because I just felt like I'm going to be showing shoes, so it really didn't matter. One thing I absolutely love about this is it has like the side zipper here. Um, it has like, I don't want to say a stopper, but like the, um, the heel is this way and it has like the little round, I guess like a stopper type part on there. Of course, they're lambskin lined. Um... If you have big calves, this will definitely work for you because um, you can adjust the lacing in the front. Right, and I forgot what type of lacing she uses on some of them. Um, it's actual leather laces. This is not, this one is like a regular, it's a thicker lace. Um, the gold detailing all the way down. And this one is a thigh high boot. Um, if I still have the inserts in my phone of me in this boot or me and her talking and the cool thing about her boots are like you can fold them down if you don't want to bring them all the way, you know, just to make a different style or, or however you rock them is how you rock them. But baby, and she has these in baby blue and she also has these in black and y'all know blue is my favorite color, but I bought the pink ones first because that was the one I saw that she latched. It has the gold um, toe. It has like the suede um, in between that and then you go into the hound stoop, right? So I actually saw the model Eva. She just released, cause today is I think like September 20th. So if you go on her Instagram, Eva Marcel's Instagram, she just did a photo shoot and she had on the black ones like this um, with like uh, black leather panties. Uh, I think it was a Gucci belt. And it, I think it was like uh, some type of blue top or something, but it it was badass. So, yeah, without further ado, um, what what can I say? Um, very, very good line. I'm very, 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 very pleased with the customer service. I'm very pleased with the quality of the shoe, especially for the price, because a lot of times you get designer shoes and they are so uncomfortable to walk in or to wear or for anything like that um, and however that's not really the case the minor issues you may have like the occasional maybe if it's a like a mule or something and, and it's slippery there are things you can put in place to help with like things like that because you're gonna get that no matter what um, but however packaging presentation I mean presentation a plus customer service a plus a plus quality of the shoe a plus a plus a plus the cuteness and the uniqueness of the shoe i guarantee you no matter where you are you will stand out the shoes are that fucking bad ass you will stand out everybody will know it's a jennifer lee shoe and if they don't know if it's a jennifer lee shoe they gonna know today all right so give this video a thumbs up y'all like and subscribe um like i said i do have a special giveaway but you got to watch the yes i let it slip off the bag i do have a giveaway of one of her shoes that i'm going to give away not this video but y'all can catch me on the next one um and see which shoe i'm giving away and why um yeah and cop yourself a free free shoe and in the comments tell me happy birthday y'all it's virgo season Mwah. love y'all so as you can see, there's a lot of lacing and I don't feel like putting them both on. So I'll just put one shoe on and show you guys how they all fit. Um, the laces will go all the way to the top no matter. Well, I guess if you have big thighs like me, they may or may not go all the way to the top. Mine's do, I just didn't tighten them all the way. But this is how high they go. Of course, if you want, you can add another lace maybe or because I doubt it would go that high 
but you can fold the boot down right and that looks cute as well um yeah so these are actually they're super comfortable i love 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 the way they fit how they make everything set up right tight let me unfold it show you guys how they look from the back yeah that is super cute and this is the hound suit right y'all like yeah it feels so good to be back bye hey gems it's your girl stylish raven here thanks for watching my video today make sure you check out my previous video and most importantly do not forget to subscribe okay if you're new to my channel become fam click subscribe and follow me on my social networks bye